hi hbnr families welcome back to the channel so in this video i'm going to show you best and easiest method on how to cut this amazing printed t-shirt perfectly so if you are just coming across this channel please kindly subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop an amazing video like this you'll be notified so before we dive into the tutorial assuming that my neck measurement is 15 inches so i'm going to add extra 3 inches to it to make it 18 inches so and i'm going to divide that 18 inches by 3 which will equivalent to 6 inches so that 6 inches is what we are going to be using to cut our t-shirt neck the reason for adding extra 3 inches for it is because is because it is round neck and it will be bigger than my actual neck because i'm going to attach an elastic neck band to it to, to draw it back to my actual neck measurement so let's dive into the tutorial and let's see how we are going to be make how we are going to be cutting the pattern thanks for watching hbnr don't forget to like this video So I'm going to start by drawing a straight line for my starting point. After that, I'm going to apply my length measurement, which is 27 inches, and I'm going to add extra 1 inches for my hemming allowance. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And after that, I'm going to connect the marked area together. So after that, I'm going to apply my neck measurement. My neck measurement is 18 inches and I'm going to divide it by 3 inches, which will give me 6 inches. So this 6 inches, for the back neck, I'm going to divide the 6 inches by 2. It will give me 3 and I'm going to mark 3 inches for my back neck. And I'm going to come downward by half of an inch for the back drop. So I'm going to connect it together like this. So after that, for my front drop, I'm, this 6 inches, I'm going to deduct 2 inches from it. So I'm going to mark 4 inches for my front drop. So I'm going to connect it. I'm going to make a curve line like this to connect with the front curve measurement. So the two inches I deducted from the front from the six will be added to it automatically while making this curve. So let's take the measurement, maybe the two inches added to it automatically. As you can see, it's equivalent to six inches. So my front neck is six inches. The next thing is to apply my shoulder measurement. My shoulder is 16 inches. So and I'm going to divide 16 inches by 2, which gives me 8 inches. So I'm going to mark 8 inches for my shoulder. And for the shoulder slope, I'm going to divide my chest measurement, which is 36 by 24 inch by 24. And it will give me 1.5. So my shoulder slope is 1.5 inches. And I'm going to connect it to the neck area. So after that, I'm going to determine my ammo depth by dividing my chest by 4 minus 1. So 36 divided by 4, it will give me 9. And I'm going to minus 1 inches. You can also minus half of an inch. But here, I'm minus 1 inch. So this is the 8 inches and I'm going to connect it to the shoulder line. So after that, I'm going to apply my chest measurement, which is 36 divided by 4. It will give me 9. So I mark 9 inches. So 
and after marking it i'm going to connect it together like this after that i'm going to find the center of the ammo depth my ammo depth is 8 inches and the center is 4 inches i'm going to go inward by 1 inches and i'm going to place my french curve to make the ammo curve like this So my bodice pattern is ready. So I'm just going to add an extra seaming allowance to it like this. And after that, I'm going to cut the pattern out. So the next thing is to make the sleeve pattern. So I'm going to make a starting point line like this. So after that, I'm going to apply my sleeve cap height by dividing my chest by 10. So 30 divided by 10, it will give me 3.6. So I mark 3.6 for my sleeve cap height. So after that, my hammer depth, which is 8 inches, I'm going to apply it here. 8 inches and I'm going to connect it together like this so after that I'm going to make a slant line like this to join with the starting point line I'm going to take the measurement of the slant line it gives me 9 inches and I'm going to divide that 9 inches by 3 so 9 divided by 3 it will gives me 3 so i mark 3 inches i'm going to divide it to 3 equal parts so after dividing into 3 equal parts like this as we've seen so i'm going to mark half of an inch here at the center of the beginning and i'm going to mark half of an inch here also so after that i'm going to place my french curve to connect it together like this So after connecting it, I'm going to apply my length measurement, which is 9.5 inches. I mark 9.5 inches as well here. So I'm going to connect it together. So I'm going to add extra half of an inch for seaming allowance. Because I'm going to fold the hand, but if it's going to be, if I'm going to attach an elastic band to it, so I'm going to leave it without adding a similar allowance to it. So my sleeve opening, I make it seven inches. So after that, I'm going to connect it to the sleeve cap height line. So after that, I'm going to cut out the sleeve pattern as well. So after I'm done cutting the pattern, I'm going to start cutting the fabric. The fabric I'm using here is jersey material. So this is how I'm going to be laying my fabric. I'm going to fold it into two like this. I make sure that the selvage which is the edge of the fabric meet each other like this and I will make sure that there is no any rumble or rumble or any underlay in it. So I will also fold it again like this. So now I'm going to place the pattern paper on it and I'm going to cut it out.
so I've, I cut the both front and back together like this. So what will happen now is that I'm going to remove one which will stand for the back side. This will stand for the back side and I'm going to I'm going to cut out the front neck on the pattern. So I'm going to place it back on the fabric like this and I'm going to cut out the front neck. So this will stand for my front part of the cloth. So this is how it looks like after cutting it out. So this is the front part, this is the back part. So the next thing is to cut out the sleeve pattern. So the next thing is to cut the neckband. As you already know that my neck measurement is 18 inches. So I'll make my neckband to be 16 inches. I'm going to deduct 2 inches from my neck measurement. So the height of the neckband is 2 inches. So and the length is 16 inches so i'm cutting 8 inches on food which will make 16 inches so this is for the neck band please don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if this is your first time coming coming across this channel thanks for watching